Alrighty, hello guys, welcome back to yet another scripting video, and today we're going to be having a look at how we can make one of these developer name tags in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is create a part instance under the workspace, rename it overhead GUI part, and then we're going to add a billboard GUI and we're going to add a text label under that. For the part itself we're going to make it anchored and transparent and we're also going to set the can collide property to false. Anchored equals true, can collide equals false. Once you've done that head back over to your billboard GUI. Make sure you select always on top so we can make sure that it will be on top of the player's head. Next we're going to add our offset we're going to make it three, so it's going to be three studs above the player's head. After that, we need to go to our text label, background transparency, make it completely transparent. After that, choose whatever font you want. I'm going to go with Gotham Black. And text, I'm going to make mine developer, in all caps. I'm going to make mine text scaled, and I'm going to make mine text color red. I'm also going to add text strokes transparency to make it a bit easier to read. Also, we need to come along over to offset, max distance, and we need to make it about 40. After that, we can close this up. <clears throat> we can add a script under our workspace. So the first thing we need to write is script dot parent equals game dot script ser server script service. So we can make sure it moves it into server script service just in case. After that, we need to start with our first variable local gui equals script dot GUI part dot billboard GUI. Our next variable is going to be our player name, so we can do dev name equals. Now between these speech marks, make sure you put your exact player username, not your display name. So mine is Jack Smith. underscore 1000. We need to start with a player added function or event game dot players dot player added colon connect function with a parameter being a player player dot character added colon connect function and now our new parameter is character next we need to write a conditional statement so if player dot name equals equals because it's conditional equals div name so we're checking if it's our developer's name if that's the player's name then we're going to set the GUI's um, parent to the character's head. So how we do this is GUI.parent equals character.head. Now that should be all we need. All we need to do now is click play. As you can see, it's added the, the tag above my head. Anyways guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, then smash that subscribe button. If you want to see more, then consider hitting that sub that subscribe button and turning on the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. See you. Bye.